So we've taken a look at Windows XP Gold, but apparently the people behind that thought that they needed to go even further. And that's why that we are now presented with Windows 7 Gold Edition 2016 by Computer Media. Now, the original Windows XP Gold video, if you have not seen that, I'll have a, a YouTube uh, card pop up at the top right of the screen right now has almost reached 100,000 views, which is astonishing and just amazing that you guys have found that video to be so interesting. And I'm pretty sure that it's because of just that it was this this weird, just, you know, fan-made thing, the gold Windows XP. Like, what is that? I mean, like, that's nothing obviously made by Microsoft. Um, so this was something, you know, of course, as I said in that video, it was something made by some guy over in Pakistan and it adds like a bunch of features to uh, Windows XP, a bunch of themes and stuff like that. But the team behind that goes by the name Computer Worm or um, Team Computer Worm or Computer Worm Team. Um, well these uh, group of people they're calling themselves the computer media corporation as you can see right here now they're still based in Pakistan because they have the, the um, PK in their uh, URL so I'm, I'm thinking that this might be the same group or maybe some people from that group left and formed this other group I'm not really sure but yeah I mean Windows 7 gold edition it's got kind of the same you know idea to it it's taking Windows 7 and making it golder and as you can see here it looks pretty gold they've done everything from changing the background to the installer um, and they've changed uh, the boot screen to look more gold these okay so yeah, these are actually different people um, that uh, Windows XP Gold was made by a person by the name of uh, Muhammad Sadim. So these are two different people that are taking credit for this. So, um, so yeah, maybe this is a different group uh, entirely. But I mean, you can see here that this this is going to be man. I am I am looking forward to this now. Just like on the other sites and, and this is how that I kind of thought that they were made by the same group is because the, both of the sites have the same layout you have this like free download button up here and it wants to uh, redirect to a site called adminlady.info which I'm not sure if that's like a legitimate site and I wouldn't really trust it also this website is filled with ads um, well not like ads that you can really see as of now but there, there there's pop-up ads like when i um first went to this website i got like two pop-up ads so be careful if you do decide to go to this website but i'm gonna actually have a link down below in the video description to a direct um iso link which for some reason is hosted on archive.org i assume somebody's posted it here for whatever reason but there is an iso image and a, a, a torrent file so but yeah so that is what we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at windows 7 gold the uh, successor to windows xp gold and let's see how it all adds up okay so we have a virtual machine all set up with windows 7 gold as you can see here and we're going to be getting into this doing a um, overview of the installation process, which I'm probably going to be, um, you know, cutting out, you know, the long parts of that as I usually do. And we're going to be getting into the actual operating system and seeing how it compares to uh, Windows XP Gold. And I'm actually kind of interested to see kind of what um, programs that they bundle with it. Um, there were some screenshots on the website but you know there might be some more things and I'm kind of interested to see if they um, include some cracked software. Um, because if you remember in Windows XP Gold, there was a lot of crack software, like a lot of pro versions of certain programs like uTorrent Pro and CCleaner Pro um, that were bundled with Windows XP Gold. And so I'm kind of interested to see if that's going to be in, in uh, Windows 7 Gold here. So we're going to be um, taking a look at this now. I've set up this VM with 2 gigs of RAM and a dual core processor with a 40 gig hard drive, which I think is going to be plenty. Um, you know for this installation so let's just get started here we're going to power on here and i'm assuming that the installation is going to be 
like your standard Windows 7 style installation. As you can see here, it says Windows is, is you know loading files. Although most of the things, like as you can see right here, it's already modified. The uh, boot screen um, has been modified. It still says uh, starting Windows, but the Microsoft at the bottom is now uh, Computer Media Corporation. And the Windows logo is now this uh, gold Windows logo with kind of like a ring around it. And that's the boot animation. So, um, so yeah, this is the new uh, boot screen in Windows 7 Gold. And I, as you can also see from the um, you know, previous segment in the video, this installer <laughs> is, is uh, very interesting. They actually spelled... So now up here it just says Windows 7 Gold. So they kind of spelled that wrong. You can kind of not really read all this text here because it's kind of gold on gold on gold. I mean, but, you know, we they've they've done a lot here. I mean, they've changed this text down here to say Computer Media Corporation install Windows 7 Gold Edition. So they've definitely done a lot with actually changing everything. So we're going to go with um, the uh, you know English US uh, layouts. We're going to do install now. And I'm sure that you guys have seen this you know a million times this is your standard windows 7 setup it's probably gonna have the same prompts it's just kind of the visual aspect of it has been modified um instead of saying setup is starting it says windows 7 gold is starting and there's actually two different um architectures that we have here so we can choose from x86 or x64 so i believe that i only uh, specified the vm as a 32-bit vm because i didn't know if um if this was a 64-bit, so I'm just going to go with the 32-bit, uh, um, and you can see that it still has the uh, 2009 date right there. So yeah, we're just going to go with the 32-bit. I'm sure this the 64-bit would work, and it would actually probably be better because you know it's 64-bit program compatibility and all of that. But I didn't specify this to be like a 64-bit compatible VM, so we're just going to go with the 32-bit. And you can see that um, this has been changed here. These are the, the uh, two people that they are giving this uh, credit to, but I believe that, um, I think that this license is pretty much the same. Um, I'm not sure if if this has been changed or not. Um, you know, like I can still see it says Microsoft. It says Windows, Win7 RM OEM, so. We're just going to accept these license terms. We're going to do a, a custom, so we can actually install it on the hard drive. And then, uh, yeah, so let's just get into this. It's going to uh, copy Windows files. And so you can see that they kind of fixed it. Now it says Windows 7 Gold, so they fixed the uh, you know spelling error. So, uh, yeah, this is you know one of the points where I'm just going to pause right here and... Uh, we're going to come back once it is uh, finished with this part of the setup. And I believe once that we restart, it's going to go kind of into that automated phase where it starts installing and possibly cracking some of the versions of the pro uh, programs if those are on here. So, um, but yeah, I'm just going to be pausing this and I'll come back uh, once it is all finished up. Okay, so we have just um, restarted a couple of times here. And as you can see, we are kind of back to the standard windows 7 boot screen which i thought was a little bit odd um so i'm not sure if we're actually going to be sticking with this one or if we're going to be going back to the one at the beginning of the setup but we'll be seeing how all this works but i think it, it has finished the, the 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 first phase of the setup and it should now be booting into this kind of yeah this part here um it says windows 7 gold uh, edition again so they have spelled that wrong um so this is where it's kind of checking everything. This is kind of the part in the Windows 7 setup where it's kind of got those bars, like those you know glowing bars at the bottom of the screen. But they've changed this to whatever that image was. Okay, so now we got to set up our username for Windows 7 Gold Edition. So we're gonna put in my name here. We're gonna call this uh, 7 Gold VM. Um, you see again, Computer Media Corporation. I'm not going to put a password and we need a product key now I, I don't think there's a product key I think it's just gonna crack this I'm pretty sure let's just see what happens if I just do next so we'll use recommended settings we'll leave it in the Pacific time we'll do public network and see here we go so this is where it's gonna start 
doing all of its all of its stuff so we got this kind of yep so we got windows loader here um that's gonna install uh um a a totally legal uh copy of windows 7 onto here so we got that going um so that's that's how that they get around that so you can see that it's doing this in the background so yeah this is definitely not a legal copy of windows 7 which i kind of figured that out at the very beginning so and this is you know it says version there windows 7 ultimate and now i think it's going to jump into the like whole interface here maybe not maybe it's just going to go to the desktop so let's let's see here thanks for choosing computer media product does it say that every time that you boot up your computer i wonder if it does that'd be funny we've got some some nice music in the background um kind of like the the last one I'm not, I'm not sure if i'm gonna let it play in the video but it's kind of odd that it's just playing now as like the boot up is going and it's just like okay it's like a like a 10 second loop like music track so okay here we go can i turn this music off we got this like clock okay right in the middle of the screen. This, okay this music is seriously getting annoying oh my god it's like a 10 second loop of this the same thing okay i'm gonna turn that off so yeah this is the screen that i was talking about where it lets you you know select all these programs um and yeah again we got c cleaner pro we got all these pro programs we got subway surfers again like i didn't even know they have a desktop version of subway surfers so yeah this is kind of the same thing as uh xp gold in this sense so we're just gonna and it did have that you know little timer thing down there where if you had left your computer to go do other stuff it would automatically do all this for you which is something that i do like about this stuff is that you don't have to be at your computer so if you were for some reason using this on actual hardware if you wanted to do that um, you know, you, you wouldn't have to be sitting at it. Like if it was like a really slow computer, you could just kind of let it do everything by itself. It's all automated. So we're, it's going to begin install is for some reason, it's got this like weird, like watch looking widget, but I mean, you can see, yeah, it's installing all this stuff. C cleaner pro team viewer. So we're back. And for some reason we got two of these, um, watch widgets now. Um, so I'm just going to go and change the, uh, screen resolution. We're gonna go up to 1920 by 1080 and apply that because so it'll actually look nicer um but yeah here we are and you you can see that i mean windows xp gold actually had like a whole theme down here maybe that let me see here maybe there's like an arrow theme oh look at this so we got so we got like the um like the you know people's phone numbers and everything on the side there so um yeah i think that it's arrow isn't installed let me actually install vmware tools here because maybe we can get the the full theme so let me actually just go and do that really quickly here and uh we'll see because I, I don't think that it's supposed to look like this i think there's supposed to be like an actual gold theme um but i mean yeah you can see that there's a modified start button down here the 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 start menu kind of looks plain but i'm thinking that the the the, the start menu and the taskbar are going to kind of change but so we are back and i have installed vmware tools as you can see here and as i kind of thought it just changes the um windows 7 basic theme that it was on before to a transparent gold theme which I do believe comes with Windows 7, so this isn't really anything new. But Windows XP Gold came with a whole new theme, so they didn't really have to do much to, to you know, this here. But they did change the, um, you know, actual start button to something different. And they've changed all these icons on the desktop as well. They've, they've kind of re-themed these. And whenever you, you open something, it kind of does this, this kind of fly out animation, which is something that I think XP Gold did as well. And you can see that everything in here, all of these icons have been changed to 
look more gold um, all the folders as well if we open up the start menu we go into all programs all these folders in here um, but yeah it does come with all these programs some of them like I said are cracked so you know there's that but you know it does come with things like say well I mean I, I think this is C cleaner pro but it does come with things like 7-zip which I you know is uh, freeware um, they might have like a pro version but this might be the pro version uh, there's like a GOM player there's power ISO ultra ISO WinRAR so it, it comes with a bunch of um, you know installed programs um, gold clock I think is is this yeah so it's, it's just this thing over here um, and it keeps starting up with like two of them and it just opens up Internet Explorer when we try to open it up and it gives a socket error so this is obviously a, a desktop gadget so we can just you know close out of this um, or we can make it like a countdown clock I guess or a stopwatch or you know whatever um, but yeah um, and they've also have these I think this is um, yeah this is the new uh, file explorer icon right there you can see they they've done a lot to change all of this here um, they have also added this icon on the desktop called CM team and I think this is just an image yeah that opens up and it's just the uh, all, all the people and you can see yeah here is uh, Muhammad Sadim here's the guy that worked on or who was given credit for XP gold so he's he's worked on this uh, project right here so as I kind of thought you know it was the same kind of group of people or some people from that group or maybe they just did a name change or something I'm not really sure but I mean here, here they are here's all the people that worked on this um, but yeah I mean you can see that we've got all these all these programs here they they work for the most part like you would expect but really the only thing that I can see that is different is it's just a gold theme with a ton of programs installed. So as I kind of said towards the middle of the video, I am making this video for kind of educational purposes only. Um, just to kind of make you guys aware that yes, this does contain um, cracked software and you know cracked versions of paid software and it uses Windows Loader to kind of activate, which is, you know, software piracy which is illegal and I'm just kind of making you guys aware of that I wouldn't really recommend using this operating system as kind of a daily use OS but just to kind of check it out and see um, you know to kind of uh, you know appreciate what these people made as this probably took a lot of time you know I do think that it, it is very cool and I think that these people probably spent a lot of time doing this you know changing everything around you know modifying the Windows um, installer and all that so um, yeah guys I mean this is just a you know quick little video going over Windows 7 gold and again I just do want to thank you guys for everything that you've done on the uh, channel for me and helping the Windows XP gold video to reach over 100,000 views which is amazing and I just figured this video was would, you know would be something you guys would enjoy because it, it kind of covers the same topic these sort of fan-made windows modifications that are just you know you know sort of you know really bizarre and something that we don't really see much of at least on this channel so um, if you guys enjoy this video definitely sure to like and subscribe for more possible videos like this and as always guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video